Where did all the toilet paper go? It makes sense that the cleanser products are gone. We're using them a lot more now. Same thing with over-the-counter medication. And alcohol too. But the toilet paper thing is a little weird. We aren't using any more of it than we were last month. Maybe it's because people want to be prepared to not go out for weeks on end, but that doesn't square with the food situation. Food is a much more primary thing to have on hand. Yet, just a week ago, food on shelves was plentiful, but the toilet paper was gone. Why? A weird answer is that the toilet paper is gone because it's gone. I know that may seem a little circular, but it's a sensible argument. Let me explain why. To simplify the logic, let's think of just two people deciding whether to buy toilet paper. They can either hoard it or purchase it as necessary. If a player hoards, they will be left with more toilet paper than they may end up needing. If everyone buys as necessary, they will be left with the perfect amount. But if one person hoards while the other buys as necessary, the buyer as necessary will find themselves with a shortfall. Imagine for a moment you know everyone is hoarding. Perhaps you heard a report on the news saying as much. What should you do? If you hoard, you will find yourself with more toilet paper than you may end up needing. But if you buy as necessary, you may end up going home empty-handed. So you hoard. What is pernicious about this is that the other person is in the same boat. Hoarding leaves them with more toilet paper than they will probably need. But that's better than buying as necessary and ending up without any. Thus, it is perfectly reasonable to expect everyone to hoard toilet paper. And the reason it is happening is because it's happening. You hoarding makes me want to hoard, which makes you want to hoard, which makes me want to hoard, and so forth. What's interesting about this is that if you can convince everyone that no one will hoard, then no one will want to hoard. If one person knows the other will buy as necessary, then hoarding just brings them home extra toilet paper. So they want to buy as necessary. And the same thing goes the other way. As such, normal purchasing of toilet paper is also sustainable. This is why we don't always see rushes on toilet paper. In game theory, we call this a coordination game. Governing institutions can help resolve this problem in a couple of ways. First, they can simply convince everyone that hoarding is going to stop. If everyone believed that, then they would stop hoarding, which makes the proclamation a self-fulfilling prophecy. Governments can also guarantee a certain quantity will always be on hand. This is how they handle bank runs, which has a similar flavor to toilet paper hoarding. This particular game is called a stag hunt. If you would like to know more, check out the links for a video just about that subject. It's also the main topic of Lesson 1.3 of Game Theory 101, The Complete Textbook. Hope you enjoyed this. Stay safe.